Okay, so uh, this round we're going to talk about the John Deere fly. That's that fly that um, worked really well for us uh, the other day. Was the uh, game changer. Uh, allowed us to catch uh, four trout when we were really stuck with just getting one. Uh, and this is uh, just uh, yesterday, Sunday, when we were out on the Blue River in Oklahoma. And the uh, John Deere fly, uh, it's a little fly that's made out of a uh, jig um, type fly. Uh, set up so a little size 10 1 1 24 ounce uh, fly and we'll give a bigger uh, closer picture of the uh, fly itself uh, but how we make them uh, the longest part that uh, it takes to to um, to make the fly is really the painting uh, so we've got a little green okay uh, we got a little yellow and then we also use hard as nails uh, once we get everything uh, painted we'll put a coat of this to make sure it really locks in that um, uh, Color on the jig so it didn't get too beat up uh, Pretty much just dip the uh, jig uh, into uh, The fly or the uh, paint uh, Or we'll touch it up with a little paint brush uh, And then once we have that dried uh, We'll come back actually we'll do a couple of coats because we definitely want to make sure that uh, uh, the fly is is uh, covered well in that green color. Then we'll take a toothpick, dip it into the uh, yellow uh, paint right here, and then we'll just kind of dot the uh, uh, jig head with an eye uh, on both sides. And then we'll let that dry, and then finally we'll just brush on the hard as nails and let that dry. And then at that point, uh, we have this. Uh, these little jig flies with a pretty tough coat uh, for the head. Uh, green, and then yellow eyes and that's it okay so again the longest part about making this fly is really uh, just the painting other than that for the body you'll use a green chenille right here it's pretty much uh, similar to what you'd make for some San Juan worms but in a green uh, and then uh, some marabou plumes actually just one little piece of it and you'll trim it um, as you make it uh, and then that that's pretty much it oh uh Got to have your uh, olive um, tine thread, Dacron. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and tie one real quick. And we'll get a closer up view of that uh, here shortly. We'll lay a base. All right, take it just past perpendicular to the hook point right where the start of the bend is we'll grab our uh, marabou plume get it on there and just pretty much secure it in place with a couple of wraps and then we'll trim it Just past that hook bend, snip it. So just nice little feathery piece here. And then we'll add the chenille. Just take it back here real quick. Add the chenille. All right. And then we'll just put a quick knot on there it could be a whip finish knot can be a half itch either one works and then we'll just start wrapping okay just build it up okay down secured in place we'll snip off the excess chenille apply a couple of whip finishes actually several whip finishes and that is it all right another one 
Alrighty, so this is the John Deere fly. This is the tandem rigged uh, trailing fly that we used the other day on the Blue River that uh, really did it for us when it came to catching the trout uh, that round. That's what they were hurt or they were hitting. So uh, if you do like and subscribe us uh, to our channel and uh, do stay tuned as we talk about our next video talking about the tandem rig that uh, was also a success for us on the Blue River. All right, next time, catch you and good luck. And don't forget, if you do like what you see, do subscribe to our channel, COAF Field Team, and do stay tuned for that tandem rig video. All right, next time, we'll catch you and good luck and good fishing.